ya koe ya tanya jijin kapele ngai kemane jun proyek ken plastik jika nanggu ala koe jika jen kari kelakar wia plastik yung kadar wali mena ka jika rombar kadar wali ngan ran ngan ran koe and jep to tong lakai leng kei nai Hi, my name is Jason. I'm doing a project and I was wondering to ask, what should we do with the plastic here? Good question. Uh, my name is Madeline and I'm Deputy Director for the Marshall Islands Conservation Society. I'm AJ, which to read program And I think there's a lot that we can be doing to help reducing the uh, plastics, the single-use plastics in our environment here. One way we can do that is by supporting and strengthening our current plastics ban that we have here in the RMI to make it more comprehensive. But I remember the last international coastal cleanup we did, um, probably two years ago, we were counting how much trash and we are able to put up a top 10 trash we found in the marshals and the cigarette butts, plastic bottles, plastic bottle caps, straws, like all of those single-use plastics that we use every day can be like taken off if we, from the policy side of that, <laughs> she said to strengthen the band. Yeah. The band. I just wanted to know, is this hard or not? So we can start doing it? I think that is a difficult and challenging problem, but that doesn't mean we can't start now somewhere. You know, everyone today can think of one way that they can reduce a type of plastic that only uses once and make a small shift while we're working as a group to make those bigger changes in policy or to get funding to do broader com uh, campaign awareness. It's an issue that can be addressed at all different levels, and I think it's a big enough of an issue that we need to start right away. And we're able to compile data of how much trash we're taking out of the ocean or on uh, the coastline. And if you think about it, every year it's just the same amount or even more. So we should probably do something about it right now. And to work with the community, you need to do outreach programs and awareness programs around Medro. You can start your own youth group, like. To, to see you as young as you are driven to do reduce uh, single plastic waste, it's everybody's gonna look at you and say, Wow, I wanna do that too, Jason. Yangi ni jiko bi jiko armijin ay lang yun ray kamani imagine always company ay rikit. Joy jum kaya pero kaya lang game po join yun join run all even any in any to don. Jado yung bado kung yung rikit bi join yun join run. Eh, yung ultima tau jin. Um, tak ni kumian ay kampanye kan patuh aka? Kami angai recycle dengan plant peel. Yum, ya kan ni rata lialak. Lo ciwol kau jangan rita longol longol. Mal. Pau kau yang ray kapuk cikin air cuci. Eno tu kau army kau yang ay bar kapuk cikin air cuci dengan cuci. Yum, army jin tamuan do major waste company. Ay bar lo lo kerja kau. Kau bijak kan? Ami yang me ada yang olive run yang nak jadi cipu elok. Amy, what do you think we should do to, you know, reduce the trash here? I think one thing would be using less uh, single-use plastic, um, and so not only recycling, but reducing and reusing, and um, maybe helping make sure the drinking water is clean so that people uh, don't have to buy plastic as much if they don't have um, drinking water. So, how do you guys refill the water here? 
So the water here is caught on our roof and then it goes into a 45,000 gallon concrete water catchment that we um, keep clean. And then it, and then from the water catchment, it gets pumped out through a series of sediment filters uh, that take out any um, debris, sand, and stuff that might be on the roof when the water goes in the tank. And then it goes into a UV sterilization system that takes out any uh, E. coli or coliform or bacteria that is uh, bad for humans. The stages of filters that we have are um, sediment filters that go from 20 micron to 10 micron to 5 micron and um, they're pleated type filters and then the last 5 micron filter is actually a carbon filter that makes the water taste great. Um, so is it hard to do the whole process? No, it's not really that hard. What's, what's hard is to keep the system maintained um, so that the lines don't get contaminated and the water is uh, safe for drinking. Now, we test our water once a month with our Environmental Protection Agency so that they know that our water is clean and free of any bacteria. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. What do you think the government should do to provide clean drinking water? To every household? Yeah. I think that the government needs to prioritize access to clean drinking water as it is a human right to every household. Some of the steps along the way that I know are being taken include repairing all the water and sewer lines in Madro specifically to ensure that we have safe and potable water at every household. And then of course in Outer Islands, we have to consider rainwater harvesting as the most efficient plan to get there. What do you think it's best for them to do? I think it's the best option to provide clean drinking water at the household because if you have to go to the different access points that are in Madro right now, you have more chance of contamination along the way. So the better prepared we can be during peacetime for every household to have clean drinking water, the more prepared we're going to be in the event of a disaster, like a drought or a typhoon. Um, what if the government can provide it? So if the government can't provide it because they have a lot of priorities, then I think we could look to our very strong civil society and NGOs, as well as our local government and our community leaders to help come up with temporary solutions like maybe you can build a community rainwater harvesting catchment that everyone in Denver puts money into and then you share that resource. So that's a possible solution. Okay, thank you.